tens of millions of people along the Northeast Corridor are awaiting the next winter weather event and the next snowstorm. So let's take a look at the track and the timing. You can see that this uh, low pressure system is sort of a trough jetted out of the Rockies. As it makes its way through the Tennessee River Valley, it's a combination of moisture coming up from the Gulf and also gets cold air being fed in from the north. So that combination there will intensify this low pressure system. Remember, Nashville getting another dose of snow for the second time in a week while New York City still is not even had a half inch, they'll, they'll be counting their third, fourth, maybe even fifth inch of the season before all is said and done. So what we need for the storm system to really come together is a good track because we've got the other ingredients of cold and moisture. So the position of this low makes a big difference and also the jet stream, which is actually very active and it's flowing quickly. That means that it's going to allow the storm to escape just as quickly as it comes in. So that really minimizes the chance for us to get big deep snow over the Big Apple. But the tri-state will get into some messy weather. There's some advisories that have already been posted across uh, Delaware into New Jersey, also taking us in to, well, really even to North Jersey and parts of Eastern Pennsylvania. When the snow moves through the mountains, uh, the West Virginia mountains, the Alleghenies and Cumberlands, that's where we'll get the snow stacking up six to eight inches, those higher elevations. The little bumps there in the, the Virginias do get get a nice dose of snow. Everybody else, the slow's moving so quick, it's going to be hard to grasp onto it. What is interesting, though, is that parts of South Jersey could see additional amounts of up to three inches, maybe even in some cases pockets of five inches there along the coastline. And of course, that puts another round of snow there for them. What we'll be looking at late Thursday night is as this snow moves in, where does the rain snow line set up? Temperatures will play a big difference here, a big uh, player here in what happens. And then by Friday, as that cold air tries to wrap back in, areas to the north will see some additional snow, while everybody else gets just plain rain, where the temperature is 32 degrees or warmer. We'll be tracking all this, Steve. And of course, a lot of kids have their fingers crossed to get some snow on the sled tracks before the weekend gets here. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.